up some points against Hensley of Bedford Lennox. At number six, he'll take a six to zero lead into this in nine to zero lead into the second period, of the third period of that match. And here on match four, if you thought it was just all about Carter Happel for Lisbon, look at this. Nick Williams of Lisbon is looking for a shot to get into the finals. He's seventh rated, taking on Jacob Krakow of of uh, Iowa Valley Marengo. That one's just getting underway on mat four for the Iowa Valley Marengo fans. Williams in on his patented sweep single right there, headed the inside, two point takedown right off the whistle. Very strong, nice. So a good move there for Williams. Greco making the tournament from Marengo, Iowa, Iowa Valley. Well, we have one point on Matt Five, Mark, and now Albernet looks like Fowler. Uh, they didn't like it. So they have it's two to one now, Fowler over Walker. And we have a reversal here on Matt Six for Portillo against Hensley, upping his score to 11 to nothing. Full control there on Matt Six. Those Portillo brothers out of Clearing Goldfield really racking up a lot of points in their yeah, matches. Sure do. One's got 12 and the other one's got 13. Yeah, and Portillo at 13. Josh Portillo beat Bryce West in the quarters, as we mentioned, to get here. That was a one versus two match, so we didn't get to see that one in the quarters. That's how he got here. And then the other West was down here. We saw get a win and uh, Portillo's brother over there at 106. Justin. Just another tough Portillo. These sophomores from Clarion Goldfield and now Hensley in trouble once again on Matt six. It's 13 to nothing here. And there's two back points that'll end it. Match termination there. Nick Williams over here from Lisbon with a four to one lead. He secured another takedown right there for Lisbon. Fans Mid American Energy is bringing you the video streaming of tonight's wrestling matches on IHSSN.com. It's a free view. Just go to IHSSN.com and you'll be able to watch all the matches and all the semifinal action that's been on today and what we're seeing now and the championships coming up tomorrow night. Fowler holding on up there on Matt five. Five seconds to go in that match. They're gonna get a fresh start. You see what Walker has for him from Wampolo here. Up and out, young man. If he can do it in five seconds. It's like Zach Fowler of Alburnett's gonna find himself in the finals. He holds on and number three moves on, as you say, to the finals to take on number two Portillo. When we act as an advocate for Iowa farmers, I rise up. When we reinvest $80 million in a decade to bring jobs to rural communities, I rise up. When we provide nearly half a million dollars in scholarships to young Iowans each year, I rise up. When we invest in solutions that create opportunities and improve the quality of life for all Iowans, I rise up. We're Iowa Farm Bureau, and we do these things because we're your neighbors. We're Iowans, and nothing feels better than seeing Iowa rising. Fargo Arena, Alan DeBold, along with Mark Ironside, Bob Selby, bringing you all the play-by-play -play action here on the mats. We're in 1A right now in semifinal action, 126 and 120 on the mats. And uh, Mark, good action going on over on uh, mat three as well. Yeah, mat number three. Looks like that's uh, Jake Hunterdoss of Southeast Warren and Joel Haberman. Another clearing Goldfield wrestler there on mat three at 126. Clinton Goldfield got a lot of guys in the lineup here in the semifinals in the lower weights. They won the uh, they were your dual champions. Dual in champs. Those they, lower weights really got everybody going. 
They upset Albernet, the number one ranked team in the state, which Albernet's highly ahead in the team race right now in the traditional. Look what we have here on mat five, Mark. Brady Rudin of Wilton and Lane Nichols of Woodbury Central Moville. Nichols lost in the finals at 126 last year to uh, Andrew Fouch of Underwood. Rudin lost in the finals at 120 to Carter Happel. So he's probably glad he doesn't have to face him again this year, but pretty tough task as it is to get by Nichols. It's 0-0 still. Just under a minute in the first period. Brady Rudin, one of Wilton's finer wrestlers. Oh. Tough team. Down here on mat number four is Nick Williams from Lisbon looking for that fall. And what? He's got what he had Krakow <laughs> from Iowa Valley Marengo on his back. He sure had him in an awkward stretched out position there. That was he, he lost it, but boy. Williams Williams up to a commanding eight to one lead right now in the second period of that match. And Mills and Klein on mat six. It is four to one. Uh, Klein of Underwood. Klein of Underwood out in front. Four to one there on mat six. Now stoppage there in the Williams match. On mat four. Hunter Doss of Southeast Warren tangling over there on mat one with Haberman. No score in the first period as it comes to a close. Well, those guys have been rolling around off the lot for not having any scores. A lot of exciting motion going on over there. A lot of movement. Not very many points. Rudin and Nichols. Looks like Rudin out with a 2-0 lead in the second period. Nichols shoots, picks up Rudin. Oh, boy. Rudin was able to bounce those hips right back off the mat and throw a wizard and save a takedown that for sure thought was a takedown. Right in front of the corner, in front of Coach Nick Dorman from Wilton. Well, he had to like that. That was very impressive by Rudin. A little blood issue down on uh, Matt Six. Riley Klein from Underwood. Yet another stoppage in action, and this time it is on Matt Six. Now we're underway again on Matt Four. Williams, 8 1 lead over Krakow. Iowa Valley. There's a point for Hunter Doss now. He's up. One nothing. Almost looking wrenching on Haberman. Over there. He's, He's got this her. Is tight. See if he can adjust chest to chest, as they say. Oh. A little bit high. Trying Lost to run that, that half arm. still. He just can't quite get it in there, but he gets his back fall. Got his three back point points. near fall there. His back points, near fall points, six nothing now. His lead extends. He got his back fall, Mark. I'm combining terms now. <laughs> All right, Rudin, 2 nothing lead over there on Matt 5 on Lane Nichols of Woodbury Central. Coach McElrath, fine team this year. You got uh, Mills and Klein are all tied up on That's Matt 6 five, as well. 5 now, yeah, you're right. 5-5 five, five on Matt 6, so lots of action there between Klein. And Mills, Hinton. Nick, Will Nick Williams of Lisbon down here with another takedown. 10 to 1 lead down here with one minute to go in that match. And Williams, total control on mat number four. Nick Williams out of Lisbon, a sophomore with a 47 and 5 record. So, two very, at least two very impressive sophomores for Lisbon, and I'm sure there's more. Now, Hunter Doss is in trouble. Haberman makes it 6 3. Puts. Oh, he steps mm -hmm. over with a Look half with his leg. He's got the leg. And Hunter Doss trying to come through. Very nice, difficult move there by Haberman. Hunter Doss finding it hard to get out of. Five seconds left in the period, though, there on mat three. Six three. Hunter Doss. From Southeast Warren. They'll go in in the period. Now it is 6-6 six, six as they start the third period on mat three. Williams is going to win this one on mat four for Lisbon. 10 to 1 if they counted right in time it'd be 11 to 1 but <laughs> they don't do that in high school yet. Definitely working on his riding time for his future. Very good at the ride there. Look at this Rudin and uh, Nichols 4 to 2 Rudin in the third period. Well, they're all tied up 60, 6 to 6 right there and then uh, 
Just Haberman let that. out, let Hunter Doss of Southeast Warren go. Give him a 7 6 lead. So it's 7 to 6 right now. Actually, it's 7 to 6 in favor of Haberman. Third period, 120 to go. Hunter Doss of Southeast Warren is going to have to get on the offense. He's down by a point right now. He's going to find something somewhere to break through here against Haberman. Make something happen down one. He shoots, doesn't finish. Can't quite get in on him. We're we doing on match six down here. It says six five. Cole Mills with the lead. Well, what happened there? I thought we were sixes on Matt six. <laughs> we were five five five, and then it went six five. Okay. Injury time down there. Between Rudin and Nichols, stoppage. Uh, Nichols is uh, on the mat. And the ISU trainers tending to him. The ISU trainers are here all week, guys. Every year, Iowa State sends all their training staff down here to help out. So you see a lot of the same referees. You see a lot of the same trainers down here at the state tournament every year. And all of the Iowa High School Athletic Association workers and staff event. Great tournament. We have a new match on four, which would be Colby McIntyre, number four rated Colby McIntyre oh, versus Logan right Mays. And on six. It's Cole Mills. Looks like Mills. And what does he not have here? He's getting points, that's for sure. Those have hit. Close. And there's the there it is. He got it. That was a tough comeback. Boy, look at him celebrate. He's excited <laughs> about going to the finals. <laughs> yes, he is. Wow. Excellent match for those young men. An excellent. Good battle. You're watching the Iowa High School State Wrestling Championships presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. As sole title sponsor of the Iowa High School Athletic Association, Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to champion Iowa's youth and all they have to offer this great state. And we appreciate their sponsorship for the uh, Fairway Foods Championship Network going on right here at the Wells Fargo Arena. And it looks like, guys, Joel Haberman outlasted Jake Hunterdoss of Southeast Warren, so he punches his ticket. That's three for Clarion Goldfield. And they still have Mitch Gambrell, their heavyweight. So how far in the point standing points. are they, Bob, do you know? Yeah, Clarion Goldfield was on our list here. They're in third place, only three and a half behind Eddieville Blakesburg, Fremont. So Clarion Goldfield with three big wins there, and if they get Gambrell later, they're right back in the thick of it. But Albernet, of course, if they keep winning, is going to make it very difficult on these right. second and third place teams as we get some new guys. 